Hey there, it's Brett Chittam with Lawrence Systems, and I'm here with Tom, and I guess we're going to call this Coffee Talk with Tom and Brett, and yeah. we're here to talk about where and how to meet other business owners. Well, it's the goal so today is to keep it short, so where are you going to be at 9 o'clock? Oh, I'm going to be at a board meeting um, with a theater company where the other people on that board are actually business owners. And that's what we want to talk about is it's not just going to professional service organizations right. and not just doing, you know, this marketing and sending out some emails because everyone loves an email saying, would you like to switch your IT services? But you have to kind of create a whole friends circle of other business owners. It takes time to curate all of the connections because people always start with, I don't know anyone. How am I supposed to start a business if I don't know anyone? Um, how'd you get to know people, Brett? Uh, you go out and you meet people. You got to start to increase your sphere of influence. There's a lot of things. Are you a part of a chamber? Are you actually on some board somewhere um, that that has got other people that have more influence? It's about that sphere of influence and creating a, a larger sphere of influence. You hang out with your old high school buddies, right? We talked about this pre pre. Um, you hang out with your old high school buddies. What are they doing? Are they are they people that are going to be able to buy from you? Are they people that are going to need your product or want your product? Yeah. And this is one of those awkward entrepreneurial things where you got to kind of, you know, focus your time, focus it in your friend circle. And hey, it's cool to still have some of those other friends, but you do have to dedicate some time to building a business relationship network. And a lot of that is going to just all the events. I also serve on actually some charity boards as well, not as a marketing thing, but it's all more things I can do to both contribute back to society. Hey, and get around a bunch of like-minded people. Right. You know, Brett serves on a board of a theater. I'm on the board of an education institute and I've been on several boards of different educational institutes. And, you know, this is me wanting to give back to the community, but it's also, how did I even get on a board of an education institute? Well, I started at the chamber of commerce. I went to meet people there. You go to the business networking events and it's never about pitching them. And we almost wanted to jokingly title this, like what the marketers won't tell you. Cause a lot of people <laughs> yeah. think of marketing and I, I, my favorite term, I don't remember who said it, but you know, more than half of my money on marketing is wasted. I just don't know which half. And right, right. Is, <laughs> there's not like some secret leads out there that these only the marketing people know that they're, oh no, pay us uh, X dollars per month and we'll send you these really good leads. Those leads are very limited. Even when you talk about pay for click advertising and things like that. Now I'm a business owner. What do I, I'm, I'm just not in the market for tech, but what do mm -hmm. I Google? Well, if I don't know a plumber, I'll Google, you know, Who's going to fix this sink? I might Google something basic, but when you talk about my business relationships, and if you're talking about being an IT business, yep. that type of not just fix one computer, but take over an entire network that takes building trust, rapport right. with people. Um, and I'll use accounting as an example. How do I know all the different accounting firms? How did I choose an accounting firm? Because I don't really want to turn my books over to just anyone. I didn't want to just go Google search and call some company that's just a lead gen company that goes, I'll find you the best accounting. I want to know, you know, I know my accountant personally, me and him have gone out to lunch several times. I personally know them because over time I met them through events, through interactions. And I said, that person seems to just have a good grasp. The same works for you as your IT company. Right. Cause you don't, you know, that's a great thing when you're thinking about you don't want to be that guy. You you mentioned it just a, a second ago about going out there and and not pushing your product and not you don't ever want to be that guy in an event that you're just trying to sell to everybody in the room. I think what happens is there's some some there's some good thoughts on having some mystery involved in what what you are and who you are. When people know what you do, they will come to you if they know you're good at it and if you've built a relationship with that person you like you said tom with your with your account you know him you work right. with them you've gone to lunch with them what are you doing with your with if you're serving on a board or if you aren't at a networking group are you actually spending time with them outside of that group as well building that sphere yeah. And when you're in these different groups, these different events and things that you work on, there's also you're contributing back. I, it takes time to do the different things me and Brett yeah. do and contribute back to these things. And that's just part of being in a functioning society of things you do. Brett was actually, oh, man, I think your board meeting last night with the, the chamber, the yes. emergency board meeting to make some decisions type stuff. I mean, that is a, 
well, I guess this is what I'm doing at 630 at night uh, because that's what needs to be done. And but yeah. the dedication you have to these things also comes through. And that's what people see. And they get to know you from it. And they go, that person's really got some smart ideas. And mm -hmm. it's just about to having that time and that rapport building that you're doing with all the people. This is years in the making. It doesn't like this. Any of this happens overnight, but over time you see, and this is, you know, just a real solid way to increase that sphere of influence. Like Brett said, this is a really big thing that matters. It's one of the reasons it almost becomes easier because I've been in business for 17, 18 years. Uh, Brett already had quite well, how did I meet Brett? I heard him as a business consultant because I met him at the Chamber of Commerce and now he's exactly. running a company here. Like that came over time of, man, he's really good at what he does. He's really good at some ideas because we were both in the chamber together. We both right. contributed ideas. That's how we met. And put together events like, you know, right. I was on the board for the uh, black tie event, which mm -hmm. uh, Tom still doesn't wear a tie, but <laughs> it doesn't mean I have a picture of have Tom wearing a tie. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, understanding, um, you know, I was thinking about what you said, the, the meeting I had last night. Um, our, that board has 45 members on it. 85% of those people have done business with us in yep. some way, shape or form. And not because we pushed it, but because they've come to us. And and I think as you continue to meet people and and find the, where the business owners are at um, and getting to know them will increase your business. It's less on marketing because that works. It's proven through time that that will work. Yeah. It's, this is that problem, like I said to me, and we almost want to title this the what the marketers don't want to tell you is because right. the marketers can't help you with this. Sorry. This is no, not where the marketers help. I think you but, should title it that. Let's, yeah. let's, yeah. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we should definitely title it that because um, marketing is a great thing to talk about. But what is it? It's very ambiguous, right? It more, right. I'm a marketer or we got to do marketing. What is it you have to do? You have to build relationships. That's yep. what you have to do. You have to get to know those business people and you have to get to know them well and and not on a surface level well, but on a personal level. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying not to run any Google ads, but from mm -hmm. a other side of that coin, if you're competing with the other people's Google ads, it's now who has the best and prettiest ad hoping someone clicks on it and is a larger professional service organization like a law office or a medical office, are they going to randomly trust all of their very critical infrastructure the same way I would trust my accounting? I, I didn't right. Google for an accountant. And if I had a problem with my accountant, I certainly wouldn't just Google for another one. I would go back through. And actually, I know a few good accountants. I, my bigger challenge is I know a few good accountants that I really yeah. like. <laughs> so Yeah. And, and it's hard to pick and choose too. Um, and not to say that you just deal with one, but I mean, on some aspects, you have to be mm -hmm. able to deal with one or the other. Um, yeah. it's a, it's, it's really about just that. Re I got to go back to relationship, Tom, because yeah. you have that relationship with your accountant and it's important. And the other thing, 70% of business will close when it's referred or a personal relationship, yes. 70%. You can't buy that in marketing. Right. It's it referrals is where it, it, it's one of those things. Like I said, it's easier as you are in business longer. Mm -hmm. It's going to be one of your biggest challenges when you start a business. It's going to be killer. You're going to have to really work hard to get to know people. Now, it's right. also why you see some people start a business and you see this skyrocket of success and you're like, man, they it, and sometimes, you know, it is a combination of good product. But you'll find a lot of times, especially in IT services business, they had a really good mm -hmm. network of people. So even if they left and broke out on their own, they had this. They knew everybody. They, they right. had this contact. Those are critical to build. I just want to reiterate that. And it's the com probably next to the pricing is one of the more common questions we get is when you get started is if you don't have a book of business, how do you get one? How do you right. build that clientele and it's relationship building? We just want to reiterate that. Absolutely. If, if your Rolodex today doesn't have people that are going to buy your product, you need to increase your Rolodex. Simple as that. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys. And thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you'd like to hire a short project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently.
And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thanks again for watching and look forward to hearing from you.